This one's gonna be on Ardesia. Basically, it's a uh, sketching program. You can actually do like annotations, uh, draw some stuff on it. So let me bust it out here. So it's called Ardesia Desktop Sketchpad, and we're gonna create a new project here. So in the side here, you have uh, your toolbox, and it's kind of like a paint program, but this one interacts with you know your desktop itself. So let's say I want to draw something here. Ooh, draw it. And they have like let me see how let's see five colors here, but if you want different colors, you can do a color chooser here. And let's say you want purple. Alright. So you can actually use uh this arrow thing too. So at the end of your uh your your line here, you can have the narrow. So that's how that works, right? So clear that. Uh if you want to use like you know your programs, you can click back on this um arrow button here. And you can actually interact with you know your existing uh, applications. This is what people use to like make mockups or something or ideas of uh, what they need to do. And I've seen this used like in schools or even presentation purposes uh, using their Wii Mote or whatever. But anyways, let me show you. Let's say for example, uh, I do some type of annotations here, and I want to do a uh, a text here. Uh, you can use your you know your keyboard to type something out like here we go new game or you can use this uh on screen display keyboard it's called the florence um what's it called yeah the florence uh, virtual keyboard this is mainly for people that are using you know uh this on their whiteboard and they don't want to use the keyboard back and forth they can just interact with it uh you know when they're up there using the whiteboard, so that's what this is used for. Uh, so let me uh, show some other options in here. So in here they have, let me see here, th this uh, screenshot. If you want to save it as a screenshot, this will save it to a PNG file. Uh, this other one right here, it's the same thing, but this one saves it as a PDF file. If you want to save it to a PDF and send it to your friends or whatever. They do have a recording option, uh, kind of like you know a screencast would record my desktop, or whatever. It's not that great though, so I don't really recommend that. You know. But it does come out as an OGV file if you really want to use that. But not great. Don't really recommend that one. Um, I think that's about it. Other things that they do have uh, besides the virtual keyboard is they have this thing called a spotlighter and this one will highlight maybe the important areas that you want people to see or whatever right uh, it's an extra program that you have to install if you want it not really necessary but uh, let's close it off here X that clear this and there's other thing called the curtains I don't want to open it because it's kind of janky but they do have that one too it's just a curtain all right Anyways, that's the program. Uh, if you actually want to use it, you can use it. They actually have this this OS that's made for like just presentation. It's called Wild OS, and um, that's all it does. It's just for like maybe teachers or presentations purposes. So you can do this stuff type of stuff with the Wii Moat and uh, use a whiteboard, and you can interact with your you know existing programs on your computer like this, and do annotations at the same time. But basically, that's what it is here. If you want to try it out, uh, just go and download it and install it. All right, that's it for this one. Um, let's close it off here.